Well, this has been a this is a big test. Uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for that brief hiatus. I had to install a broadcasting software on my other computer because my old computers just kind of went belly up. I don't really understand what happened. I'm using the exact same software, open broadcast software, and uh, hold on a second. Well, this has been a this is a big test. Uh, sorry, ladies. All right, uh, I'm using the exact same software, open broadcast software that I was using on my other computer. But for some reason, when using it on that computer, uh, I was getting a bunch of problems and my computer was getting a blue screen of death and it was crashing to desktop and it was just being absolutely horrid. Um, now, I think my only problem is that I'm only hearing my own audio in one ear. I was getting a bunch of problems, and my computer was getting a blue screen. Is anyone else uh, hearing it on only one ear? Yeah, I do see that as well. Okay, uh, let me try and fix it. Check, check. Okay, there we go. That should have the voice in both ears. Let me just listen to my own broadcast. There will be a bit of a delay to make sure it worked. Should be in both ears now. Screen of death, and it was crashing to desktop, and it was just being absolutely horrid. Um... Looks like it's working. Okay. Wow, I never scrambled so quickly in my entire life. Uh, I, lit I, I had to install a new software on this computer and, you know, move my... Um wow, I'm, I'm about to die. Look at this. I'm about to die. <laughs> my character's about dead. Holy cow. Eat, eat, drink, man. So, yeah, this is frustrating. It means I'm not going to be able to save this broadcast. Uh, the reason I had it hooked up the other way... <sighs> And not to waste your time, I know you're probably not interested, but the reason I had it hooked up the other way is so that I could record uh, my broadcast in, in a hard format to my hard drive on my, my work computer, and then leave this one resource-free for just playing the game. But uh, having to install that on this computer makes that impossible. Anyway, I'm just glad to be back. I'm so sorry that you had to work through that, but let's move on. Okay, so as part of... All right, we've got, we've got three tasks to do. Let's go to Prickett's Fort and do the task there. Clint, with a bunch of emotes. Thank you, Clint. Gemma says, cool, nice to see you back. Vault Dude says, you're perfect on mobile, lol. Great. Uh, we love you, says Harry's PC. Four Dragon says, cheers, it worked. Ash Malachi says, it worked. Great. All right, we made it. Well, thanks again for being so patient with me um, while I worked through these this problems. This is Grafton's Mayor. Of course, you know that. Who else would it be? It seems another body has been discovered at Prickett's Fort. Can't let the poor fellow just sit in a box. Go get those remains and bury them at the Battlefield Cemetery. All right, we've done this daily. We've done the event, and I don't want to do it again. So, let's instead continue with whatever quest the it is we came here to do. So, what does the Grafton Mayor want us to do? He wants us to tackle this token machine. Let's repair it. Okay. Great. Uh, Janice says, hey, Ox, got any coffee? Yeah, I need it today. God. What a way to start the broadcast. I was having such a good morning, too. I'm just glad I'm online. Yeah, I have a nice big coffee here. All right, let's see. Where are we going next? We are going to... Wherever this is, the Black Bear Lodge check-in terminal. 
And it's close to the space station. Let's, he let's head to the space station and walk southwest. Isaiah says, Ox, your streams uh, made me give this game a shot, and I'm not disappointed. Sure, some things need to get ironed out, but it's fun to play. Yeah, I'm having a good time. Uh-oh. Thought I heard something. Okay, let's see exactly what it is they want us to repair over here. Just waiting on the update, DL head to Harper's Ferry. I already fully explored Harper's Ferry while doing the primary quest. Uh, unless there's something that you think I missed, but I did cover that in one of my live streams. Ahum says, don't worry everyone, Metro Exodus comes out in February and Outer Worlds comes out sometime after. I'm excited for both games. I've been excited for Metro Exodus for quite some time and I'll, I uh, plan to cover all of them. What was this radio station that I just got? I am your host, the Mayor of Gotham. Okay, <laughs> hear this, please come see me at City Hall. I have something that, uh, never mind, just come see me right away, as in <laughs> now or sooner. I love the Grafton Mayor. All right, uh, so that's a, that's a message we listened to you. already, so we don't need to listen to it again. Dominique says, what happened? It seemed like you just kept playing without us. No, no. Uh, when I, I stayed at my camp, and I, when I logged back in a few minutes ago, I was still at my camp. So all we've done so far is we've continued on our way with the Grafton Mayor's quests. We uh, went to Prickett's Fort. We fixed the token machine. Universe 19 says, I was referring to Lake Eloise. I see. Um, I don't think I've found Lake Eloise yet. I'll have to keep an eye out. Dropped Connection, Berkeley Springs. Hmm. I'll have to keep an eye out when, uh, when I as I stumble upon it. Are you planning on doing uh, Oxhorn After Dark with Outlast 2? No, I started doing Oxhorn After Dark with Outlast 2, and the game was just so dark that I couldn't stomach it. I know. Uh, it was just... You know, you walk you walk into a big room with a bunch of dead babies, and you have to sit to yourself, am I enjoying this? A a is this what I really want to do with my time? <laughs> and I, I had that thought, and I, uh, you know, I, no. I, I, I'm going to skip that game for now. It's just a bit much. Okay, so what do we got here? Pick up beer bottles at the shooting range and repair, repair the Black Bear Dodge a lodge check-in terminal. Okay, so here we are at the Black Bear Lodge. Let's head on upstairs. Man, this place got hit hard. Ah, sweet plastic. Oh, sweet plastic. I'm going to need all this plastic for crafting up my shotgun shells. I think I'm still uh, pretty low on shotgun shells. Though I think I'm doing pretty good on steel now. Um, although I did go through almost all my steel when crafting my... Uh, Gauss rifle ammunition. That stuff really chews through steel. Wow, what a cool little lodge. Uh, wait a minute. 
What's a pre-war lodge doing with a death claw head mounted on their wall? Uh, all right. Okay. So we have to assume that after the apocalypse, some scavers and poachers moved in and killed a bunch of death claws, blood bugs, mire lurks, mutant hounds, and yao guai, and mounted their heads on the wall. This totally can't be pre-war, because that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> uh. Mini nuke. Gosh. Just checking on the quality of my broadcast, my stream. It looks looking okay. Okay, gunpowder. I'm going to need that for my crafting. Let's head out here before continuing down. I know that I need to go to that terminal. I just want to see if there's anything I missed over here. Is my music not playing? Hold on. I, I don't think my music is playing. Actually, since I'm not recording this broadcast, I can listen to the actual game's music. The only reason I had the music turned off was because I didn't want it to uh, show up in my... Broadcast. So, we can listen to it directly from the game, which is actually kind of nice. Are Death Claws pre-war? I mean, yeah, they're pre-war if you lived in a military or governmental scientist lab, because that's where they existed. They weren't in the wild where people were shooting them pre-war. <laughs> they were pre-war, but as experiments pre-war, not live creatures pre-war. Uh, so, anyway... Repair the, the terminal. All right, we're gonna repair that. Now that it's repaired, any lore for me? Command. Oh, that's it? Just that one terminal? All right, well, let's explore the place while we're here. Enter personal information. Oh, so this is the automated check-in. Okay, so let's throw in some random personal information here. Looks like that's it. Miscellaneous talk to the Huntmaster of Black Bear Lodge. Uh, well, I'm not sure how I got that miscellaneous quest. Let's see. Oh, it's a daily. It's a miscellaneous daily. Talk to the Huntmaster of Black Bear Lodge. Okay. And I got that by entering personal information. Dummy information. All right. Uh, let's finish reading the rest of the terminal before we move on. Overnight stay. Guests are served breakfast in the lounge. Extra towel towels and pillows may be requested at the front desk. Noise-canceling headphones are available upon request. Events. The Black Bear Hunting Lodge events. Saturday, we offer squirrel shooting lessons. Children may pick their own squirrels from the cages out back. What? Ah! <laughs> oh, oh! that reminds me of going to a, like a hunting expo as a kid with my family. And uh, one, of the, one of the events for the kids was fishing from a big pool. They had this pool filled with fish and we could sit there and fish in it. And I remember fishing with my brother and my dad and we, we, we each caught a fish. And uh, I was so excited catching this, this fish. And then they, they bagged it. Like, they killed it, then bagged it, and gave it to us to take home. And I remember sitting in the car with this fish in my lap going, I killed this. <laughs> Talking to my dad going, Dad, do fish go to heaven? <laughs> this is what it reminds me of. You come to the hunting lodge, pick out your own fuzzy squirrel, then shoot it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Sunday is Poacher's Prayer Day. We hold a morning prayer of Virgil for poachers. In the afternoon, we patrol for them. Bring your own gun. Free ammo provided. Wow, so they killed poachers? Okay, Monday is the beginning of the weekly hunting tournament. Kill lists are available at the front desk. Thursday. Oh, it looks like I got radworms. Great. Thursday, there's a songbird identification seminar. Uh, 22 caliber ammo or smaller only. Huh, so 22 caliber weapons were in the game, but we don't find those uh, weapons here. 
Friday, we wrap up the hunting tournament. A tournament taxidermy is half off for any trophy over 25 pounds. <clears throat> and that's it. <laughs> Pick your own scroll. Moonshine jug. Okay, I keep getting. Is it? It's not. Yeah, it's not aid. Must be junk. The moonshine jug, yeah. Oh, I always thought the moonshine was food. You know, like the point lookout DLC stuff. Okay, well, uh, I know I need to go downstairs, but let's continue exploring up here first. Since I know I need to go downstairs, let's go upstairs first to delay progressing with the quest until we explore all the lore. Okay, stairway down, staircase up. Oh! Hi! Is that it? How did he- how did I get shot? Wasn't he holding a melee weapon? I'm confused. Ooh. Well, someone was here. They tried to patch up this walk- this roof a little bit by creating a walkway. So maybe it's plausible that we had hunters here after the apocalypse. Okay, here's the here's one of them. Without a head, where's his head? Oh, there's his head. Oop, a bathroom down there I missed. And there's a loft over here. Tiptoe across the girder for the support beam. Ah, cat bowl. All right, well, let's uh, go to the bathroom, which I think I missed. All right, and downstairs. Allie says, Ox, the Gauss Rifle is one of the hardest guns to upgrade as it's one of the rarest guns to drop. I would farm locations, you know it drops. Oh, that nuke you found yesterday is a random encounter. All good, Jewel. Thanks, Allie. Yeah, I've only found one Gauss Rifle so far. So I know they're rare. Ooh, and there's another downstairs, so this is a multi-level lodge. Ah! Man! How did they get that on the wall? <laughs> I just, did they not ask that question while decorating this place? Did the thought never enter their minds? Uh, Troy says, uh, Ox, you should do a 76 lore video on Morris Stevens. Also, enjoy your content. Thank you for putting the time to make them. What are Stevens? I don't believe I am familiar with them. But maybe as I learn more about the game and discover more locations, I will do so. Whoa! Lag spike. Oof. There we go. Alright, that set out here. Let's head back in. Nothing in the laundry. Nope, nothing in the laundry room. Into the grand parlor. Yeah, I mean two-headed radstag. They just put this place together and, and didn't even ask the question. Will it, will anyone notice that this radstag has two heads in a pre-war lodge? No, no, they're not gonna. No one's gonna care. It's not that big. A ghoul. Will they, will they notice that there's a glowing one's head on a wall in this pre-war lodge? No. no. They're just not gonna care. Chef hat! Core and a Gatling laser. My. 
Ash says, Ox, have you checked to see if the Enclave has a Gauss Rifle mod? Not this broadcast. But maybe I'll take a look at it. Hey, there's another beer hat. You know, I've, I've bypassed so many of them, I should probably take that one. Just to add it to my collection. Okay, and then one more level. See if we can find the Hunt Master. Oh, it's a dungeon? No, it's not. Uh oh. Here. See. Uh. Here. See. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Empty can. The father says, Ox, you should play Far Cry New Dawn. It's post-apocalyptic. Yeah, the, well, the, the latest Far Cry game uh, that came out looked really interesting when it did. I was so preoccupied with my Fallout content that I, I didn't cover it when it came out. But it's something I was interested in at the time. Uh, maybe now that I'm doing more live streams, I'll be able to get through more games. See, it's a double-edged sword, you know? I love making my lore videos, and I kind of feel bad when I'm only coming out with three a week. But then, uh, you know, I never get to go through any other games if all I'm doing is Fallout lore videos. Ali Frankenstein says, Good Yule is Merry Christmas in Swedish. Good Yule, the J is silent. Hope no more issues with the stream. Thank you, Ali. Yeah, I need, to, I need to freshen up on my Swedish. It's been a long time. But the Taksumikit. The Addington's Dangerous Game. Well, another hunting season comes to a close. I guess we should start packing up the lodge. Yes, I suppose we should. Wesley Addington. What's the problem? <laughs> this was a great season. I know. It's just, well, it's getting quite boring. We hunt the same thing every year. Oh my god! Then what do you want? If you have something to say, then spit it out already. All right. Before you judge, hear me out. What if we hunted something new? Something that was a real challenge for a change. Something that could fight back. We circulate an advertisement offering a free weekend at the lodge. People will have no idea what they're really getting into. Oh my god. It's perfect. Wait, are you talking about hunting humans? Oh, don't act so surprised. You know it makes sense. I can see it on your face. <laughs> uh, well, do you really think we can get away with it? With our wealth, dear brother, we can get away with anything. Wow, that's not a stereotype. All right, hold on. I know I missed at least one question. That gamer says, Hello, Ox. Have you killed the Scorch Beast Queen yet? Every time I try, it gets stuck in the sky far out on the map. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Um, I did. Not by myself, of course. Uh, there were a lot of people attacking the Queen when I arrived, but I did get there in time. I did get a few blows on it, and I got credit. Excel, man, Excel is much more common in this game than it is in Fallout 4. So far, I'm not getting any performance hit by streaming on this computer, so I may just have to start streaming from this computer every day, or every time I do a broadcast. Shotgun, oh, pump ad action shotgun snappy receiver. Oh! Is that a robot? Uh, Universe says, uh, this must be a reference to the book The Most Dangerous Game. I remember reading that when I was in high school. 
What ammunition you got? Ammo vending machine. Of course, it makes sense we would find one here. Uh, it's got everything, pretty much. Good infusion cores. All right, before we go talk to the robot, let's go in here. Oh, it's a butcher shop. Oh, no. Was this pre or post war? Uh, Balint Martin with a wonderful tip. Thank you, Balint. I appreciate it. An entire spine lying out here. Ew. So did they go through with it? I guess this means they went through with it. If we find their chop shop here. Oh. oh, let's bypass the skull. Don't take the skull. Instead, let's get all this metal. Ooh, poor Spore Zod. Okay, robot, what horrible thing are you going to tell me? The Huntmaster. Welcome to the Black Bear Lodge, a family-friendly hunting club. Mm. I am the Huntmaster for Black Bear Lodge. You must be here to sign up for the tournament. Very well, I'll add your name to the rolls. Each hunter is given three animals to track and kill. We've had a recent influx of new species, so don't be surprised when you see your list. I've marked some hunting grounds for you, but any kill made anywhere will count. <laughs> Great. Okay, so maybe all of the stuffed and mounted heads are from people like me who participated with the Huntmaster's kill quest. That would explain it. I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. <clears throat> what else we got in here? Ooh, an end of dungeon steamer trunk. Looks like we're going on a big game hunt. Just don't send me for like a Marler Queen or a Scorch Beast, please. NCLS Fortnite with a tip. Thank you very much, good sir. Wolf with another tip says, keep up the amazing content, man. Love from Hungary. Thank you very much. Wow, I'm always amazed at the the far afield places where people are, are watching me every day. That's so cool. Uh, Old Man Skyle says, Lore, looks like you're missing the beginning of the Brotherhood story in 76. First contact between Maxon and Taggarty after the bombs fall can be found on the northeastern edge of Spruce Knob Lake. Oh, that's fascinating. Really? Spruce Knob Lake. I, I'm, I've, I'm busy right now, but I have to check that out. That sounds really interesting. There are only a few lakes. Which one of these is Spruce Knob? Well, we'll have to track it down soon. I will eventually get to everything. Never fear. Okay, I got to kill one Rad Scorpion, one Stingwing, and a Mirelurk. That's it? Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, and it's right where I'm I'm headed. Mirelurk, Stingwing, and a, and a Red Scorpion. Sweet, let's just head on out. First, let's head over here. Here, to make tracking easier, let's stop tracking Bureau of Tourism so that we are only tracking our big game hunter. Okay, which one is closest? Oh, right in front of me.
<clears throat> Wolf Rex with a tip says, Hello there, fellow survivor. Did you hear the rumor that there's a legendary sledgehammer called All Rise that you can find in Watoga after completing a certain quest from the Mayor's Terminal from a Brotherhood of Steel Deserter? Yes, I completed that on one of my broadcasts, and I have it. I'm really pleased with it. It's a wonderful little weapon. Okay, which one is this that I'm hunting? I'm hunting for a Stingwing. Stingwing! Keep your eyes peeled for a Stingwing. What's the explanation on the ammo vending machines, says Jammin. Hold on a minute, I see it. Two down. <laughs> are they pre-war? Why would they accept bottle caps? Or are they actually post-war, manufacturing plants that are producing them? Well, I was always under the impression that they were pre-war because uh, we recall from the lore of this game that... Uh, the entire state, pretty much, was moving towards automation, or automation. Even the government was becoming automated. Mining and other trades and industries were becoming automated. It only makes sense... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What was that? Don't even know what that was. Oh man, I'm uncovering so many gremlins on this machine now that I'm broadcasting from it. Holy cow. What the heck? Hold on a second. Let me just... Now! What even was that? Man, did you guys see that or was that just me? I mean, the thing went black. The screen went black. Uh, anyway, as for your question how they could possibly... Except caps. I mean, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's, that's the big question. How do they, how were they programmed to accept caps? I don't know. All right, what's the one that we're going towards now? Uh, this is a Meyer Lurk. The screen is zoomed. Oh, is it really? Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, I fixed it. I think I fixed it. I'll just start shooting things while um, I wait for the stream to catch up. Man, that was weird. By the way, I did disable SLI. So I have no explanation for some of the weird things I'm getting on my streaming PC. Okay, looks like I need to kill one rad scorpion now. Whoa, big lag spike. Oh. Well, we're working through problems, ladies and gents. We're working through problems. Let's drink up some liquids. What have I got? I know I got some booze. Might as well drink up some of that to reduce carrying weight. Nuka cherry. Spoiled vegetables. Drop, drop. Spoiled meat, drop, drop, whiskey three. And a wine. And I'm not addicted. Yeah. Smoked scorch beast lung. <laughs> the great. And then let's do some. Now yeah, let's just save the rest for now. I'm glad they give us uh, plenty of time to complete these challenges. I'm 
Naka says, I love Voxhorn's DLC mini-series videos. I had so much fun putting those together. The DLCs are, are some of my favorite parts of Fallout storytelling. Michelle Riley says, what power armor do you have? Right now I'm using the Excavator power armor. Kitty Corner Cabins. The Clarksburg Shooting Club. Okay, so to avoid... Well, I am going to have to go right through that. So it's at the very beginning. That's where the red scorpions are? Okay. Well, I want to avoid the main park because I don't want to... Start an event or start a daily or do something <laughs> before I, I head there. So let's go around, see if we can find a ranch scorpion by going through this town. Dominic says, uh, Hey Ox, I've been watching your stuff for around two years now and I've recently become a patron. Love your content. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Dominic. I, I, I believe I responded to your email earlier today. So uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Wow, we've got a nasty little toxified lake going on here. Now to just find a rad scorpion so we can complete this hunter, big game hunter thing, and then move on with our drafting quests. Seven fusion cores. How do I have seven fusion cores? Oh. Ah! Uh. <laughs> well, we, we got him. We got some sort of strange <laughs> thing going on there. All right, let's, uh, do we have to go back? I don't think we have to go back. What's our reward? Ammunition plan for the hunting rifle receiver. Tommy says, here's my, my cap, smooth skin. Thanks, Tommy. I do appreciate it. Okay, pick up beer bottles at the shooting range. Let's try that. Where are we at? Down here. Yeah, let's do the Wacky Willards last, because I know there's going to be a lot of stuff there. How did that destination get there? Let's remove that custom destination, and then head to the Clarksburg Shooting Range. Are we headed the right way? Yes. Mary Susio says, homesick with pneumonia, saving me from boredom. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, pneumonia. Oh, Well, that's a rough one. Well, I'm glad you're here. Has Ox already finished the main story? Says Mikabrita Mible. Uh, yes, I did. I finished the main story. So we are now doing side quests. I finished the main story and I finished both of the Overseer's quests. And now we just need to finish more of the side quests in the game. A lot of side quests to discover and uncover. Wait a minute. Clarksburg. I believe I've been here before. Yeah. Yeah, I was here. We did the Enclave event here. Ah, yes. And here's the shooting range. Pick up beer bottles. Okay. Beer bottles. Here we come. Let's get rid of some of these guys. I'm so happy with Pain Train. I know I say it every day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, don't tell me they're going to do this, th this thing with one. They're going to have one bottle that I've got to turn the entire thing upside down to find. Oh, I know. Nope, there it is. <laughs> Ha. 
Now, to open the valve at Wacky Willard's. Shotgun, gunpowder. Barbed pitchfork. Let's uh, tear down or break down some of this scrap. We don't need all this scrap. Harsh Warrior says, hey, Oxhorn, love from India. Wow, well, pleasure to have you on the program. Man, we have quite an international audience today. Which is great. Glad to have you all here today. Okay, now, what are my other Wacky Willard's quests? Let's make sure we're tagging all of them. Contact Miss Annie, I believe. Um, yep, contact Miss Annie. And then I think I might have others. Nope. Lots of lucky strikes. Man, I gotta go hunt all of those down. Yeah, that's it. Great. So those two. Let's head that way. Ox scrap mods for steel. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I can get steel from mods. Oh, wow. We've got Virgilio from Brazil, Jeffrey from the Netherlands, Brandon from Louisville, Kentucky, Super Jeffrey from the Netherlands. Lots of, uh, lots of Dutch, Dutch people watching today. Bradley from Germany. Mikia Brut from Brazil as well. <clears throat> That's awesome. We've got international fans of the Fallout franchise. Let's see if I can run across here. Yes, great. I can get out of my power armor. Now to Wacky Willards. Oh, I gotta get some tea. Now, the Willard Corporate Housing, the Kitty Corner Cabins, Clarksburg. We did Clarksburg. We've explored the Toxic Dried Lake. You know what? I'm sure the quests will send us to all of those places, so let's not worry about that now. So we need to open a water valve and then contact Miss Annie, the Miss Annie robot. Let's see, can we get in from over here? Slither slide. Just a little raft. Someone tried to patch up this walkway. this little ski sword. It's so great. Uh, okay, what do we got? We got lockers over here. Come on. Pain train, kick in. Wow, that was a big delay. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a big delay. Alright, let's explore the lockers. See if we can find keys or notes or hollow tapes or the next step in the journey.
Recipe aged. Mirelurk queen steak. I don't believe I have that one yet. Oh my gosh. All the way to the end. Come on. Faster, faster, faster. Recipe, recipe. Okay, plans. Baseball player statue. That's new. Hunting rifle. That's new. vault jumpsuit. That's new. Recipe. That's new. Great. Each of those, I believe, is a pound or half a pound or something like that. So, learning them is important to reduce capacity. Bobblehead. Oh, everyone is saying I missed a bobblehead. Did I miss a bobblehead? Am I so desensitized to bobbleheads now? I am. Look at that. And it was a lock-picking bobblehead. Okay, I just took it. Man. Always strive for the unobtainable. 30% whiter sweet spot. Ooh, there's a red tie Mr. Fuzzy in there. Let's go ahead and use our bobbleheads. Energy weapons. Yeah, maybe. Sure. Reduce all that carry capacity, uh, all that weight. Milos says, uh, when we're doing it, hello from a Serbian living in Germany. Love your content. I started watching you a few months ago, and now I'm happily playing Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Well, I'm glad you're having such a good time, and thank you so much for watching. A Serbian in Germany watching the broadcast. Man, we are just all over the globe. Woo. What do we got over here? Is this a, a ride? Hey, Ox says, a sinister soul. Hope you and your family are doing well and having a good holiday. Thanks for the content. You are indeed welcome. And we are having a good holiday. We're having a really good time. It's one of our... Uh, our most favorite times of the year. We can decorate and get the tree and the kids have fun. We've got the advent calendar. And lots of wonderful traditions. Oh man, a tree knocked a big hole in this place. And I'm not seeing the pipe we need to repair. I should probably follow the quest marker, huh? Lewis says, hi from the UK, Ox. Well, hi back at ya. It's funny, the only TV I ever watch is uh, <laughs> UK television. Dominic, with a wonderful tip. Thank you, Dominic. Uh, says, I also recently watched your Bioshock videos and was wondering if you'd ever go back to the Bioshock universe and play either 2 or Infinite. Yeah, I do intend to go back to Bioshock and play more Bioshock in the future. Um, maybe, you know, once we've had our fill of Fallout 76 or when we finish uh, Wolfenstein during my, my show. It's a dirty job. Larry Hay. Guess who Supervisor Jenkins picked to clean the toilets again? If you guessed it was you, then ding, 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 you win a prize. Oh, and it's chili cook-off week, so you better stock up on cleaning chemicals. I put a whole bunch of them in the utility tunnel under the entrance to the Crocolossus Mountain. Reggie. Crocolossus? <laughs> okay. All right, so we're looking for a utility tunnel that leads to Crocolossus with cleaning chemicals. Don't know if we need the cleaning chemicals, but get another there. Croc clock. Says Croc losses. All right. Picking the mini game that never gets old. 
Uh, Stone says, Oxhorn, do you plan on doing a video about the Lucky Hole Mine? I do. I've already explored the Lucky Hole Mine, and I've got the footage for that video. Now I just need to find the time to sit down and put it all together. But yeah, I'm looking forward to making that video. Okay, and this completes a loop of the pool. So that was a wave pool. See where we're at. We came in from over there. Let's explore this edge and then we'll move deeper in. Men's restroom. Eternal rest for some people. Um. Wavy gents. <laughs> All right, well, let's go through the other way. Because this must be the ladies. back out here. So, going out here should do a complete loop around. And look at that. It surely does. Okay, I'm getting a better understanding of the lay of this particular land. Hmm. Let's see these uh, stalls real quick. See if there's anything in here. We came in through there and we explored back there. Okay. So, this way forward. Let's go this way first. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Fortune teller. Oh my. Tim Highland says, Hey Oxhorn, love your content and style. Your videos keep me smiling day after day as I explore Appalachia. Keep it up, you legend. You're being very kind. Thank you so much. This reminds me of that big movie. Are those the only two? Interesting. I wonder if we'll be able to interact with them. Seems strange that they would put all that effort into creating them for... That's for that. Okay, that's the Slither Slide. And I bet that's where I need to go. That looks like an end quest sort of thing. Yep, yeah, Miss Anne's that way. And then we've got the water valve. Let's go back. Let's do the slither slide last. Dank Meme says, should I play Fallout 3 before 4? Or 4 before 3? Uh, depends on what you want uh, from the game. Fallout 4 is easier to get running on your machine, and I think it's a little bit easier to play. Fallout 3 is a little aged, and it's a little clunky, but there's just a magic about Fallout 3 that's unique to Fallout 3 that you just don't get in any of the other Fallouts. Of course, the same is true for every Fallout. A New Vegas has its own magic as well, <laughs> and as does Fallout 4. So, um, you know, what I, I think I'm, I might play Fallout 4 first, just so that you can have an easier time getting your feet wet in the franchise. And then if you love Fallout 4 and you just gotta get more lore, hop into Fallout 3. Oxhorn, I just finished your series on Fallout 1. Really good stuff. Do you plan to do a series on Fallout 2? I do plan to do a series on Fallout 2. Uh, the timing is the thing I am uncertain with because Fallout 76 was pretty much just dropped in my lap. And uh, I'm, I'm doing content on it uh, for the moment. Boulevard says, uh, hey, Oxen, I, f I found <laughs> your your Etsy chem dealer. 
Can't wait to add props to my collection. Also, glad to support here and, and on Patreon. Keep me sane at work. I will do my very best. Yeah, a lot of the props that I use in, in my office came from amazingly talented Etsy craftsmen and women. Who uh, 3D print their own versions of, uh, of items from the game. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so this is the mini basketball event. And this is a store. Someone came through with a plasma rifle, looks like. Guess that's why we're not finding very many enemies alive. Some, but not very many. And then... Got a token machine and the wave pool. Great. So we're we're exploring every corner methodically. We're not missing a thing. Don't wanna miss a thing. Cause I need your lore. Oh, I got that wrong. And I don't wanna miss a thing. <clears throat> Brandon Meyer says, hey Ox, love your content. Been watching all your live streams from Fallout 76. Uh, me being from Kentucky, I'm a bourbon man who's never had scotch. What do you recommend for a first timer? Well, uh, I mean, scotch is, you know, they're both whiskeys, right? Scotch is just a PT Scottish whiskey. A good, uh, good first timer scotch. <laughs> well, just dive right in, right in with some uh, Glenfiddich or Lagavulin, both great scotches. Wavy Willard's Water Park Security System. This is a private system that belongs to the Wavy Willards Water Park. Access is restricted to specific employees. Unauthorized use is prohibited by law. Operations. Extended hours. <clears throat> hey, thanks for becoming a member, Dominic. To all employees, subject extended hours. For the first time in our park's history, we will be extending our hours in October. The weather has been so mild this year that we had an opportunity to welcome more visitors before our winter shutdown and maintenance. During October, we plan to be open Monday through Friday, noon to four, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to four. We will close as needed should the weather turn unpleasant management. October birthdays. The following birthday parties will be hosted in the Splish Splash area for the month of October. October 2nd, Johnson family and friends celebrating the 8th birthday of Stacy Johnson. <laughs> Matthew Churchard says, I'll pay you not to sing again, mate. Ha ha. Good stream, fella. <laughs> yeah, all right. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Otto says, Hox, Glenn Fiddick, 14 year old Scotch, and Te Amo Robusto Maduro while watching my favorite lore. Do his thing. Thanks. You are indeed welcome, Otto. October 13th, Willi uh, William, Williams and Llewellyn uh, family is celebrating the third birthday of Blanche Williams. October 17th, Davies family and friends celebrating the seventh birthday of Nate Davies. All available staff members, members will be gathered to sing happy birthday to the kids management. Oh, how I've had my fair share of those as a parent. Shift arrival, staff members will no longer be permitted on the premises more than an hour prior to a scheduled shift, and they must depart the premises within an hour after the end of their workday. Unfortunately, this policy had to be put in place because some employees were loitering after work or arriving early to enjoy rides without paying even a discounted staff admission fee. This behavior is selfish and will not be tolerated. Management. Holotype reviews. To all employees, all employees who are assisting in the review should report to the underground section of the staff area where the past month's holotapes are stored. Oh dear, how many holotapes are we going to have to listen to? Check in with a security supervisor on duty there so your time is recorded correctly. Your help is greatly appreciated. Management. All right, alerts. Counterfeit bills. Notice to all employees, in the month of September, a total of five counterfeit bills were passed to unwary staff members with 
the total loss amounting to $47. This was our worst month in the history of the park. Security staff will conduct training immediately to help employees identify these fakes. It is in your best interest to pay attention as any further losses due to your inattention will be taken out of your pay. Oh dear. Trespassing. Notice to all employees, in the early morning hours on October 15th, a section of our park fence was scaled by an intruder. This individual attempted to break into the storerooms in the underground employee restricted area, but was disturbed in the act of prying the door open by our al alert watchman. This criminal ran off and managed to escape his just punishment. This doesn't seem to be the local kids because commie propaganda denouncing the war effort was dropped as the intruder fled. The police have been alerted to the possibility of a plot and are on the lookout. Wow. If you have any information to provide, contact management immediately. Holy cow. So the park was infiltrated by a kami. Oh no, kidnapping. Noticed all employees, everyone who's heard about the missing child, Freddy, who may have been kidnapped from our very own water park as part of some anti-war protest. Management and our security staff are working closely with the Grafton police to find the child. Any employee that is able to come in to help review security holotapes will be paid overtime for the hours they spend. That's right! That was the other thing I wanted to do here. While we were at Grafton, we saw that, that missing child poster in one of the ruins. Looks like we've got some holotapes to listen to. Holotape review. All right, we've got some holotapes. Altair they are says, I will pay you to sing again, just to spite Matthew. <laughs> I'm feeling sassy today since I can't play yet. Might as well have fun here. Love your work. Thank you, Altair. Um, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> sing. Now, um... Um, my gift is my song, and this one's for you. All right, how's that? You can tell everybody. All right, I'm done. Night shift notes. <laughs> 12 hours of kids squealing at the pool. Got nothing. Bob. October 19th. Ah. Day shift notes. Look at Slither Slide and Kitty Slide for 12 hours. Found a tape that is probably the kid getting nabbed at the Slither. What? I think the kid knew the guy. Put it in the sec office safe till the feds or whoever can come in. Pete, they've got the hol a holotip recording of the kid being kidnapped at the Slither Slide, and it's in the safe. Okay. Oh, well, we need to go find that safe. October 20th. Eight hours of nothing. Cover the fountain. Bob. 21st. Reviewed 10 hours of bathroom footage. Dear God, some people. No sign of the kid, Tom. Oh, <laughs> they had bathroom footage? Oh, dear. October 22nd. This is getting tiring. Six hours of gator mouth. And another four of the picnic tables up top. No luck, Pete. October 23rd. Three hours of concessions. Got a guy acting real weird about a package. Might be the same guy as that slide tape. Setting it aside, I'll bring it to the office end of shift. Tom. Demonetized by Elton John, says Rails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Elton John would probably be angry with me for butchering his poor song. Security office safe. That is the security office safe. What? So the holotape isn't in the security office safe? Put it in the security office safe till the feds can come get it. Hope you don't mind. <clears throat> I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is. Now you're in the world. It, if I'm honest, the only reason I know about that song is because of Moulin Rouge, which incidentally was a great movie. So I know the Moulin Rouge version of the song, but not the. Um, <laughs> Not the real Elton John version. <laughs> oh man, these are glitched. The Cowboys, ah. Oh. Cowboys are glitched. Ooh. 
Love this music, by the way. It's so creepy. Wavy Willard's Water Park. Look at this guy. He's like right out of a Hannah and Barbera cartoon. Out of order, Ox. Start with Miss Annie. Is that the problem? Okay, I need to talk with Miss Annie first. All right. But that, I mean, I'm stumbling upon all of this stuff on my own. Though, you know, I guess I'm glad they did it this way so that I don't miss something. I mean, if it did cut right ahead, then... Hello? Oh, it's a dead end. If it did cut right ahead, then I wouldn't even know to talk to Miss Anne. Oh, and I can't loot the tickets. The Forrest Gump says, Ox, sing. Oh my gosh, now you guys are asking me to sing. Sing, take me higher. Oh, my. <clears throat> Can you take me higher to a place where blind men see? Can you take me higher? Well, it's only, I don't even know the words. All right. <clears throat> Man, I gotta stop. I'm gonna ruin my voice. I have six more hours of a live stream ahead of me. Don't make me ruin my voice, guys. Ah! Glitch. Uh, Sing Country Roads? Man. Dilbert's Delicious Deer Skins. Mad Rage says, reminds me of the line, yes, sing, my little monkey, sing for us. Are you suggesting that I'm your little monkey? Am I, am I the little monkey in this scenario? Oh. Ashley says, hi from West, uh, from Wyoming, and thanks for giving us Fallout 76 positivity. Uh, you are welcome. I think people enjoy life much more. They focus on the things they like, not the things they dislike. Country Road. You want me to sing Country Road now? <clears throat> Country Roads. See, I just don't have the passion. There's no passion in my voice right now to sing. It's going to sound boring and horrible, huh? Take me home to the place. I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama Mountain Mama Take me home Country Country Roads Now that's, that's outside the park There's the power What's this? The croc clock -less. croc go -less. So there's a tunnel beneath this, right? Let's check it out. First, let's explore. Get fishing! <laughs> Lewis says monotone roads. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy jazz. <clears throat> Man, this park has three walls. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Four walls. Talk about security. <laughs> we gotta do it.
Sounds beautiful, says Devin. It brought a tear to my eye. Oh, man. Now that I know that I've missed my calling, I'm going to have to join a boy band or something. Uh, maybe, maybe start a rock solo group. <laughs> as uh, as uh, counterintuitive as that sounds, a rock solo group. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that leads to the crunk. That's out. I believe I explored to get fishing. So we need to go down. There's the Crocolus. Wisconsin, not Wyoming. Huge fan. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I mean, I failed elementary school. So. There you go. What is Wyoming? WN? WG? Bubblegum Bear. Tara says, Oxhorn, I'm loving the stream. Had surgery, so this is keeping me happy all day. Well, good recovery on your surgery. I know those can't ever be fun. I'm glad to have you here. Okay, well. Ooh, we got a basement to this thing. Wyoming is W-Y. Oh, okay. There's the valve. Sweet. Ew, that is some murky looking water. Well, let's crank this sucker. That's it. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. All right, well, now to find Miss Annie. Mildred says, Merry Christmas to you and yours. Keep up the great content. Thank you, Mildred, and Merry Christmas to you and yours as well. I think I was here in a, in a, in a live stream a few days ago. That's the second savaged, uh, salvaged Assaultron head I've found today. Such a weird weapon. Ooh, a bit of a light glitch. Came out the back. So there's the croc thing there. Let's go track down this Miss Anne. If we can. Ah, stutter, stutter. Ox sing the Nuka World song? Oh gosh. Guys. You just want to cause me pain. Okay. Uh, what if there was a place... Uh, how does it go? With all the... What if there was a place with all the... Zip! What if there was a place of, with all the zip of Nuka-Cola? Wouldn't that be the cheer, cheer, cheeriest place in the whole world? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know the rest of the words. Even though I probably should. Whee! 
All right, <clears throat> we're making the rounds. Now we gotta find. Miss Anne, she's gonna be over there. Well, let's head on up to the Slither Slide. Oh no, she's over at Croc Rockopolis. All right, well then let's explore the Slither Slide first. Sing like Elvis Presley. Don't want to sell the dollar. Don't want an old horseshoe. Do don't want uh, something to you. Don't wanna. Why don't you be my little good luck charm? Oh, you sweet delight. I want a good luck charm hanging on my arm for tonight. Do hold. Do not. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm done singing, guys. Uh, I think I'm done for now. Can I hop on up there? Yep. But there's nothing here. Hello. Check out this door over here. Now you want me to sing Country Roads as Peter Lorre? I'm done. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. No more singing. <laughs> I'm all done on the singing. Uh, uh, Gabe says, commented a couple weeks ago about Fallout in Washington. I actually live in Washington as well. And I listen to your videos as background noise when I smoke. And your live streams are perfect for that. Well, thank you very much, Gabe. Ooh, parts of the ride over there. Some of the roller coaster laying around. Ooh. Ah! Died in the tube. Oh. That's a that's a legit nightmare. When I used to go on these as a kid, I would get like claustrophobic in these tubes. Ooh. Oh, this background music is perfect for it, too. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's so dissonant and creepy and wonderful. Well, that's it for the Slither Slide. Let's head on up here to the Crocopolis. Such a long time to wait for word of Montpetitchou. 
But Nanny, she cannot bypass privacy protocol. To enter the security office is unauthorized. Maybe you can enter? Oh dear. I don't want to find a dead kid. Oh, please. Oh dear. All right, well, let's figure out. We know where that is now. Delve into our pre-war mystery and discover what happened to a missing boy. All right. Well, with the park more or less explored, we know exactly where to go. That's where we came out, right? That's right. Okay, so that's the Crocopolis. 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 Crocopolamageddon. Well, all right, so let's go to the holotip review, and we already know where it's at in here. Yep. There we go. All right, let's drink something. What do we got? Any more? Looks like we're we got to start our purified water now. How about, um, you know, let's sort by. Spoil. Man, that gives me a lot. Satisfies a lot of hunger. I'm the real lady boy, says back. Uh, buddy, I'm back with 420 lightness. Well, good to have you back, 4 buddy. Or 420, buddy. Uh, WWWP, Slither Slide 1017207 daily. Hey there, Freddy. <laughs> hey, what, where's your nanny? You know what? I have a surprise for you. I don't want the other kids to see, though. They might get jealous. Oh, no. Okay. <gasps> what is it? What's my surprise? I want to see it. Please. Please. Where is it? I don't think your nanny will like it. Let's take off your ID there so she can't find you. And then I can take you to the surprise. So cheesy. Oh, okay, so the boy was standing next to the slither slide when he disappeared. Uh, looks like we need to head back to the slither slide and explore for some clues. Perhaps we can find a dropped holotech. Looks like we need to go downstairs. Hello. Okay, how do I get down there again? There's a door somewhere. Where? Back here. There we go. Howdy. Was wondering where that box is for the mail. 
Hill, the one that puts your special stamp on the ladder. Oh, uh, you can find it over by the Crocolossus Mountain entrance, right over that way. Man, the guy they, the voice they got was, even sounds creepy as heck. Oh, I am not enjoying this one right now. I'll probably be really happy with it once it's over. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel right now. I want this one to be over. All right, mailbox. Hey, kids. Drop your mail here and get a fun, wavy Willard stamp on it. Clarksburg, P.O. Box 12. Letter to media. Box 12. Postage guaranteed. Clarksburg Post Office, do not duplicate. Oh, that was... Okay, so we need to go to the Clarksburg Post Office and look in box 12. Is that it? Clark. That's it. It's, it doesn't get added as a note. Okay. Letter to the media. Mail to Quinn Carter, Charleston Herald. Miss... This key lets you open my box with all the evidence you need. I sent it to you because the truth has got to come out. You're Appalachia's most trusted news source. And people will listen if you do an investigation. Raph? Ah, oh, come on! Okay. Uh. All right, looks like I got to log out here. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> restart the game. Give me a second. Where where am I? Where where's my character? That's the big question. Whoa, how did my... Oh, remember how... Holy cow, okay. Uh, remember how the, the game just went crazy a minute ago and uh, it, stretched, it stretched the screen? That's because my computer, for some reason, switched to 4K. Uh, all right, let's play the game again. And it still says it it's running. Oh, great. Why does it still say it's running? The game is not running. See if I exit the um, <clears throat> exit the application total. And launch it again. Oh, that was weird. Fallout 76 was not running, and then it suddenly started running. Uh, okay, let's end that in the task manager. There we go. Now I can launch the game again. All right, give me a second. Sorry for the black screen. Still working through it. I know you can't see. It's a black screen. Hold on. Let me uh, try and get this up and running first. There we go. Okay, now you should be able to see. I uh, checked the task manager. Yeah, I did. I had the task manager open, and I didn't see Fallout 76 there uh, for quite a while, and then suddenly it appeared. It was really weird. So I ended the task, and then I was able to launch the game again. You 
You know, now that I think about it, I haven't been able to exit the game the legitimate way for a while now. It seems to always freeze when I try to leave the game. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what's going on. All right, where does it put me? Right outside the park. And it puts me back a few steps. I have to access the security system again. All right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, let's explore this little um, security station. We, have, we weren't here earlier. Oh, the security guy is still there. Hey, buddy. Hope you're doing okay. Okay, let's go get that holotape again. And pick up where we left off. So we got to do the terminal again. The holotapes we needed were the 19th and the 23rd. Then we needed to play this one. Oh, and it's not playing. Hey there, Freddy. Oh, there it is. Oh man, that guy's voice just creeps me out. Okay, then the mailbox, which was outside. And this is where we were. Okay. Clarksburg, P.O. Box 12. Do not duplicate Box 12, postage guaranteed. Then letter to media. Where was I? Grafton Steel has been violating safety standards and getting people killed with the toxic sludge they're dumping in the water. They shouldn't get away with this just because they're doing military work for the war. Little kids are dying. So, sounds like this may have been a political kidnapping. But it means we need to go to Clarksburg. 
Let's verify this. Oh! No! Well, we did hear in the holotape that they went over to the Kronkopolis, so let's... Okay, the fastest way it's going to take, take down here. Hey, I get another fusion core out of the deal. <laughs> okay, not bad. T45 left leg. You know, carrying capacity is an issue when you leave behind power armor. <laughs> Right on top of it, looks like we're going back up here. Kid secure ID. Serial number one three two five six three. Made for Freddie Woods status error. Okay, now. Oh, I see. Okay, now we go to Clarksburg and we have to repair. So there's the Clarksburg post office. Let's see if there's a tinkerer's workbench there. If not, we'll find one. Hardware store, there may be a tinkerer's workbench in here. Hey. No, no tinkerer's workbench. No. Nope. Just an armor workbench. Post office is right outside. Every ghoul in town is coming to say hi. Pain train is saving me the ammo. Okay, uh, let's see. So, P.O. boxes. Not seeing any P.O. boxes. Let's see. There's a record here. Hello, how can I help? Notification while every effort is made to assure data is accurate. The Postal Service does not certify any information contained herein. The Postal Service is in no way responsible for any errors that occur in these records, nor liable for any action taken as a result of reliance on this information. Instructions, select appropriate search type and, send, and enter your last name. Search by last... Inf enter your information. Search by last name. Error. Data has been corrupted. 
Search by first name, error, data is corrupted. Search by box number. 12. Otis Pike, 316 West Wilford Street, Grafton. We've got his address. Now to fix the ID at a tinkerer's workbench. What are all these? So those are the doors to the P.O. boxes. Ah, somebody came through trying to open them all up. Where's the nearest Tinkerer's workbench? Grafton Station? Volunteers needed. The responders. I think we've seen that one. So, uh, looks like we wandered into an event. Of course. Of course we did. Uh, and that's to load fertilizer. Optional. Get fertilizer. Optional. Okay, so this, this is our quest. This is optional. Get fertilizer. Oh, we're close. Let's just do it, doggone it. I haven't done it yet. Let's do it. Let's see what it's like. Get fertilizer. Up there. If I can find a way up there. What's fertilizer doing at the top floor of this house? One, two, three. Three bags of fertilizer. Okay, now we need to go to load the fertilizer. So let's do a complete 180. And I'm hungry. Man, why am I so hungry? Didn't I just eat a bunch of food? Blamco mac and cheese, a broiled scorched beast brain. Ah, yeah. Anything else? I should really cook up uh, my foods. That's going to go bad soon. Right, well, when I find a campfire or a cooking stove, I'll, uh, I'll cook something up. Ajax says, hey, Oxhorn, how you doing today? Doing great. Aside from technical difficulties at the beginning of the broadcast, today has otherwise been a pretty good day. Got my lore video on well, my Creation Club video for tomorrow done. So, uh, we'll be uh, having that to enjoy tomorrow. It's blocked up.
Okay. I'll bring some water. That was a lot of Mirelurks just sort of sitting there. But at least we got some Mirelurk meat that we can cook on up. Next time we find ourselves a cooking station. Yeah, I know, I hear it. Silo Charlie. All right, let's put the fertilizer in. So this is a new one of those uh, fertilizer arrow things. All right, uh, put loaded fertilizer into the Smith, Becker, and Granger farm aerolizers. Well, here's one aerolizer. Okay, so that was the Smith farm. Two more farms. Becker and Granger. Let's run to Becker, then fast travel to Granger. But not before we explore. Oh, hey. Okay, which way are we going? This way. <sighs> what have we here? What is this? Looks like a school. Come out wherever you are, hello. Okay, so it's on the other side. Oh, no, I'm headed the wrong way. All right, we'll go to Be back to Grafton in a minute. Let's go to Becker. So that's on the other side of Grafton. I'm suffering from flap limb. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's use cure. There we go. I'm not going to work on this event since I know it's bugged. At least it was bugged when I last tried to do it. So let's run around this town, head over to the fertilizer, fast travel to the next one, then come back to town to completely, uh, to complete the Otis part of this quest. And over there. Grafton Mayor here. Oh, sounds like there's another code nearby. But now that I know you can track them down, I don't have to worry about killing all of the code bearers that I find. It'll be easy just to farm them when the time comes. we here. 
I've only got nine minutes left. Do I have time to explore? Probably not. What is this? Oh, it's a base camp. No tinkerer's workbench, though. Explore, I'm gonna fail this event if I do. Okay, almost there. Hally up! <clears throat> the dogwoods are dying, not the dogwoods. Becker Farm. Oh, look at that. And the super mutants are fighting the Mirelurks. <laughs> Let's let them do their thing. I don't have any fertilizer to add. I just scrapped all the fertilizer. Oh, that's why I don't have any fertilizer to add. Okay, let's fast travel to this place and grab some fertilizer <laughs> and then go finish the, the event. And I remember this place. I believe I've been here before. Yeah, I remember this. This is where that Marler Queen came from. Ah. Bag of fertilizer. Ooh, and an intelligence bobblehead to boot. Okay, back to Becker Farm. Nicholas says, at least you have the locations now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Volpine Soul says, language, Ox. Hey, that was good. That was good. Uh, looks like the super mutants won. See if we can sneak by without angering them, so I just so I don't have to deal with them right now. I got six minutes left. Will I have to repair this sucker again? No. There we go. Ah. <sighs> Fresh air. Now, last one. All the way over here to Ranger Farms. Smith and Becker done. Let's do Granger. Ajax says, Ox, do you know why the talks at Valley is so irradiated and destroyed? No, I mean, the ash heap makes sense because it had all of that mining activity that was going on before the war. Uh, I don't know why the Toxic Valley is so over... Whoa! Something's going on over here. See if we can go around, let them deal with each other. And then maybe we can complete this for the Grafton Mayor. Then continue with our Grafton Mayor quest. Maybe there are pre-war military governmental secrets there that we just haven't discovered yet. But the Chinese knew they were there. There we go. Dogwood die-off. Eighteen bleached dogwood. I wonder what bleached dogwood does. <clears throat> Let's make sure that the gulpers and the Mirelurks don't find us. Then we can continue. No, 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 no. What's going to happen? Ah. <clears throat> J 
John says, Oxhorn, I watch you every time you go live and every video. Love your work. Keep it up. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right, who found me? I don't want to waste ammunition on you. Oh, it's you. Yeah, main G rat. Yeah, main G rat rat. Blowing plague rad rat. Great. Am I going to get a disease? A disease now? Run off into the woods so that we can fast travel to the next location. And then we'll be on our way. Okay. Now. Search Otis Pike's house. Let's go to the Grafton station for that. Although I wonder if we can complete the event. There is someone else there, so maybe we're not the only one trying to complete it. It was bugged yesterday, or last time, when I tried to complete the event, which is why we never got credit for it. Let's try, let's try again. Holy cow, people are advertising their apps in my chat now? <laughs> Man. It's a never-ending cycle. All right, let's head on up to Grafton, see if we can do the protest march event, and then we'll continue with our quest, which has no timer. So we got a level 19 guy here wanting to do the, the event. That's great. Here we are. Kill the protesters. Waiting for the protesters to appear. I splatter your brain. Yoshi says, Oxhorn, in your opinion, if the Institute and the Enclave were to meet, what would be their reactions? Would they work together? Love your stuff. No, I mean, they they don't like anyone else being in power, having influence. I doubt very much that they would work together. Possible, but I doubt it. Protesters, and they've even got the protest signs. I'm doing your work now, Mr. Gussie. There we go. Finally, I completed the event. It's not fun. human. <sighs> Protest sign blocked the bot. Ain't a commie. Jobs are blocked. Dad needs jobs. These are so great. Men, not machines. Wow, you can get all the protest signs from this one event. Jobs or blood. My time. Against automation. It's 
cook up our meat. Right, and we got all our food. What? What was that? Another, another Grafton event? Kill the Grafton monster. Ben Grafton Day, watch the parade. Ah! Watch the parade, kill the Grafton monster. Okay, well I killed the monster, now let's watch the, uh, that's it. That was the, that was the event, all right. I broke my shotgun for that. Now back to the quest I'm actually on. Let's turn around. We have to search this house. Heal up. Yeah, I should heal up. I will. All right. Let's see. What do I need? A little bit of water. Yeah, that's all the healing I need to do for now. Oh, man. We got these guys under the deck. So this was the Otis house. This is the guy who kidnapped the kid. Notice of termination. Grafton Steel, Greater Appalachia Region, August 14th, 2077. Mr. Otis Pike. Subject employment termination. Do the optional part first, says Drock here. Okay. All right, I will. Thank you for the heads up. Mr. Pike, this letter serves as formal confirmation of our informal discussion today regarding the termination of your employment with Grafton Steel. It is unfortunate that you have been drawn into this ridiculous propaganda. As a law-abiding government contractor, Grafton Steel abides by our commitment to meet or exceed standards for safety and production. You have demonstrated a complete disregard for Grafton Steel's reputation, its importance to the war effort, and repeated council intends to help you. It repeated counsel intended to help you. Sincerely, Stacy Tibbetts, Human Resources Manager. Uh, okay, so thanks for the tip. Let me find a tinkerer's workbench. I don't know where one is, so I'm just gonna have to go back to camp. I'll spend the caps, whatever. Oh, we got a we got a nuke. Let's go to the Tinkerer's Workbench, repair this doggone thingamabobber. That, mean, uh, that way we'll have the optional portion done by the time we complete the quest. Ooh. Now, where did I put it? There it is.
Okay, uh, quest. Kid ID Freddy Wood. Three adhesive, one circuitry, one nuclear material. Okay, nuclear material. Looks like my adhesive store is starting to get a little low. A little low. My name is Freddy Wood. In the event I am misbehaving, injured, or lost, please contact Miss Annie. Status removed by authorized adult entity. Battery power low. Authorized adult entity? <sighs> Repair your shotgun. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I'll do that. All right, where's my shotgun? Ooh, that's right. Then I've got the dragon. <laughs> uh, let's uh, scrap some of the stuff here that I don't need, like the switchblade and the protest sign. Ghouls and the Gatling laser. I really, it's only level 25, too. Don't need that. And now that I've got my dragon, I don't need this black powder rifle. So let's scrap that. Okay, then let's make sure that we place the dragon on my quick item. And now that everything's scrapped, we can store it in our stash. Is that it? Oh, and I'm full! Oh, no, I'm full! Oh! Wow, I got full really quickly. Uh... Plasma cores, railway spikes, mods I don't need. Spoiled fruit and vegetable, what's all doing that doing in there? But really it's um it's the weapons. Oh it's the weapons. Oh the scoped railway rifle, which I know I I love this thing. It's just not doing enough damage for me. Not to mention the vampire's light machine gun. I like it just because it's so cool, <laughs> but I should get rid of it. That's 16 pounds. And then apparel that I don't need. The last bastion, eight pounds. Stand fast is 15 pounds, man. Well, while I'm here, let's uh, craft up some ammunition to consume some resources. Let's see, what ammunition do I need? Don't need that. Drop it. Drop it. Or the fusion cells. Or the missiles. Holy cow. Syringer ammo. Okay, I've got plenty of balls. And my shotgun shells are doing great. Um... Guess I could always use some more 2mm. Crazy, says Hi Oxhorn. Hi there, Crazy. Good to have you here. Sell the weapons. Yeah, you're right. I should sell the weapons. I really should. Alright, let me let me get them on my let me take them and go sell them. Um, I love this thing. I don't need that. It, but it's a quest reward. I don't want to get rid of my quest rewards. Three pounds, one pound. Another quest reward, a Gatling Plaza. I can get rid of that. That's 18 pounds. Don't need that. Uh, I can get rid of that. That's a quest reward. And I, that's 10 pounds. And the Vampire's Light Machine Gun. Alright, so that saved me a little bit. And at least I can store the rest of my junk. Okay. Where's my power armor? Oh, that's right. Wait, any, uh, any crafting ability here? Nope.
Oh, I'm holding some armor that I didn't know I was holding. Let's scrap that. Uh, yeah, metal leg, don't need that. And the sturdy metal arm, don't need that. Got a beer hat. Let's add that to my stash. Don't need to carry that with me. Oh. I've got that, which I want to... And Trail Warden. That's a quest item, isn't it? Yeah, let's see if I can store that. I mean, I, I don't need it. I don't really want it. But it is level 50. And it's a unique item. Oh. I'll worry about it later. Let's store it for now. Let's head to a store, see if we can sell some of these legendaries, and then be on our way. <sighs> With the fusion cores in your power armor, sadly, they patched that. You can now only store one fusion core in a suit of power armor. That's new. Hey, Ox, do you bulk all your junk? Helps reduce weight in the stash. Uh, some of it does. I don't. I, I recall reading that they changed it a little bit, so I'm not sure what the new rules are. But the last time I looked into it, only lead and aluminum uh, save space if you bulk them. Um, also, it does consume a lot of plastic. Plastic, which I need to use for my shotgun ammunition. All right, merchant. Tell me you have some money. Yeah, all right, what, what can I sell? Metal arm, 11, sure. At your service, Weapons, sir. the action revolver, slayer knuckles, one. <laughs> Railway rifle, oh, I hate to get rid of this. I love it so much. But look at the damage difference. It's just night and day, both. Look, the Gauss rifle is only Sir, level 45, and this protect. is a level 50 railway rifle. Uh, so, yeah. And then the vamp... Ooh, 58 caps for the vampire. Gatling plasma, zero. I'd have to repair it. <laughs> uh, whatever. Just get rid of it. Oh, and I can't get rid of it because it's broken. May Fine. I be of assistance? All right. No mods. The walking cane, that's it. Let's scrap the Gatling Plasma, because I just don't need that. All right, we've saved space. Feel a little bit better about it. Wait, make sure that I scrapped all my junk. I have. Oh, someone's waving. Heart. Heart. All right, now back to where we were. Refton. Oh, I can go here. That'll be cheaper. Hey, Ox, if you visit the nuked zone, you should be able to find lots of fluxed materials. That's a good point. I needed flux materials for my uh, my radiation arch, didn't I? Nocturne Chanson says bulking is so you can sell junk. Yeah, that's that's what I've that's what I've heard. It's for selling. Once you bulk your junk, you can sell it to a vendor. Ajax with a tip says, just just a little tip for making my day every time you stream and giving useful tips I can use in my playthroughs. Thanks a million. Well, thank you a million for watching my stream today. Uh, let's see the house is up here. Let's run up the side. Okay, we did all optional portions. We took care of all the events that we collected <laughs> while, while trying to get here. Now we can finally complete this quest. 
Let's head on in through the front door. Okay, so we read that note. Notice of termination, and we can't take it. So we'll leave that there. And before going upstairs, let's explore the... Or, I'm sorry, before going downstairs, let's explore the upstairs. Heading upstairs, we've got a bedroom here. A tiny little bedroom. Oh, no! Oh! Is this the kidnapper? Or maybe the kidnapper's parents? Is that why it's wanting to send us to the basement? Maybe he was a kid, or, or a son, or a young man, and he lived in his parents' basement. What a way to go, though. Mom and Dad dying in the bathroom, one in the tub, one on the john. Oh, another one. Camp Tomahawk postcard. Hi, Uncle Otis. I made Bob and... I made Bobby puke four times. So cool. I saw a dead animal. There were lots of worms and guts. Susie, May, bald, bald. Girls are dumb. Ha 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 ha. Freddy the Great. So Freddy was here. And, and Otis was his uncle. He kidnapped... His nephew? Oh, no. It did say that the kid uh, recognized... Ooh, blood pack. Teddy bear. Oh, I really don't want to learn what this is going to be. Terminal. <clears throat> All systems are A-OK. -okay. Howdy, Otis. What would you like to do? Calendar. Error date param parameter is out of range. OK. Diary. It's probably dumb to write this down, but I got to get my thoughts put down somewhere. So I guess this is my diary. February 26th, 2077. Now Colton and Leland have passed on. The steel mill just keeps pumping poison out. I'm not sure what to do. What can I do? I can't get other work with my back being so bad and Arthur's kin. May 7th. That cute Susie Jenkins died horrible with lumps growing inside her little body. What? I feel so bad for her folks. No one should have to bury a little child like that. I don't I don't see that I have any choice. Arthur can't see past the dollar signs and doesn't give a crap about anything, but people are dying. Oh no, May 14th. I finally did it. I secretly told the news about what's happening here. The safety rules are ignored and kids are dying. It's not right. June 28th. Hoo boy, I stirred up the hornet's nest. There's protesters and reporters and all kinds of people camping outside the steelworks now. They're blocking the trucks and such. They're real riled up. The soldiers came and cleared those folks out and posted guards with guns. Arthur was laughing about it today, talking about those commie whiners getting what's coming to them. Guess I gotta try something else to make things right. Got fired today and booted off the premises. Said they knew I was helping the protesters. Guess being kin didn't matter. Arthur didn't even talk to me himself. Guess I have to find another way. Well, uh, so Otis was... The nephew of Arthur who owned the mill. And that's why he kidnapped his nephew? Uh. Correspondence. Correspondence received. Kid Secure. From Kid Secure customer support to Otis Spike or Otis Pike regarding the tracking feature. Dear Mr. Otis Pike, I'm sorry to hear about the issues you've been experiencing with your son's kid secure. Only an authorized adult that's been added to the account can remove the bracelet. We keep your kid secure. I've attached the override instructions as you requested. Please let us know if you have further questions. Great, so an email was all it took. Damn safety inquiry. Ooh, that's what I needed. To Otis Pike, subject regarding damn safety inquiry. 
Whisper Fire says, for additional details about Otis, visit the Woods Estate just south of the water park. Otis is Arthur's brother-in-law. I see. Okay, I'll check that out after I finish this, qu this quest. Mr. Pike, I'm happy to assure you that Grafton Dam is an amazing marvel of technological achievement. We have found that humans make too many mistakes, so other than a remote oversight capac uh, capability, the Grafton Dam is fully automated. I would be happy to arrange a tour for you if you're interested further. Sincerely, Quentin Greasley, Community Outreach Manager. Kin. From Arthur to Otis, subject regarding kin. No, just no. We aren't related to you. We aren't related, you and I. Molly was the love of my life, and while she lived, I had to deal with your crap. What were you thinking, trying to screw me over with the protesters at the dam? You tried to take advantage of my memory of your sister. The hell with you. Freddy likes you. I can't prevent this kid secure from letting you locate him since Molly trusted you as a guardian. Just go away, Otis. Ooh. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, bad times at the mill, lots of horrible things happening, kids dying even, so it's not cool, but kidnapping a kid? Well, looks like we gotta go to the Grafton Dam. That is the last sighting of our Otis. You go to the Woods Estate as part of the quest. Okay, thanks, John. Grafton Dam, I've been here twice. Now we get to go here as part of the quest. Glad I didn't do a lore video on it because uh, I would have missed this. That's what I'm hoping to do now is go through as many quests as I can just to know where everything is situated in the lore of the world before doing a lore video on it. All right, hold on one second. I got to double check to make sure what my time is at. I'm broadcasting for two and a half hours. That's fine, okay. As long as I don't hit four hours, I should be good. Oh, but wait a minute. It's north of the dam. Oh, no, I do have to get into the dam. Okay. Just missed it. Bad aim, Ox. Bad aim. Oh, they're calling for me now. Oh, you've got a treat for me, do you? Well, we'll have to check that out in a minute. Final order, scrapped and Dam. We expect your squad back at Camp Venture within the month. As you're packing up, please keep Elder Maxon's new orders in mind. We have to secure any valuable and potentially dangerous technology. So a couple of parting orders. Use the contacts you've gathered with the responders and even the Free States and see if they know of any hidden caches of technology. I know the Savage Divide had some government research installations. If we can get solid intel on where they are, we can mount a recovery expedition. Determine if anyone, friend or foe, 
had any technology that is potentially dangerous, anything involving nuclear technology, laser or plasma weaponry, or anything. Catalog it, but don't act. Knight Wilson and I will evaluate on a case-by-case basis. You must have mixed feelings about leaving the dam, but our mission has grown beyond just protecting civilians. Don't forget it. Pallet integrity. Play. Civilization. The Brotherhood and responders together have paid a high price to make that word mean something in Appalachia. Despite all the changes, farmers have worked the land. People have learned new skills and, and we've built a new world. And the super mutants threaten all of that. I'm a soldier, a paladin, and I tell you that this is our moment. We will never be stronger, and the super mutants never weaker. If you're thinking in the heat of battle to run, to live to fight another day, know this. There is no other day. We win here, now. Responders and Brotherhood together, or we will die. So look to your left, look to your right. Promise to give your all to protect them, and they will protect you. Make no mistake, this will be the toughest fight of our lives. But we will win, because we're fighting for something. For each other, for our children, for civilization. Now, let's show these muties what we're made of. Michael says, still trying to catch up on streams, currently on day 11, but here's some caps to spend in the wasteland. Well, thank you very much, that's super kind. Esposito Diary, page 12. So, that was fun. Marino's fine communication. Marino is a fine communications operator, but not the best pick for command, especially given how the situation's evolving. He took being relieved of command well, though. On the trip over, I saw firsthand that our recon was right. The super mutants are growing threat. Is anyone still reeling? Before the war, this was a nice river valley with farms, factories. Now there are these giant bloodthirsty mutants kidnapping and killing everyone in their path. First come some damage control. We set a regular schedule for caravan escorts to the mire and back. If caravan Sally comes through expecting us to drop everything to escort them now, though, we have fewer trips with more guards. Hey, where were you earlier? <clears throat> Let's see, Night Marino's Terminal. Grafton Dam secured. We've successfully uh, successfully fortified Grafton Dam and established a working base. I've sent word to Paladin Taggarty. She'll let Harper's Ferry know we're ready to safeguard any traders wanting to make the track to the mire. Sadly, we haven't been able to get inside the building itself, but Martinez believes the large drainage pipes might be a way in, should the need arise. Power reinstated. So Scribe Grant shows up and bangs on the pipes, works with the wrench, and bingo, we got power. Grafton Dam is once again providing power. Power means we'll have an easier time keeping the Morgantown slash Harper's Ferry trade flowing. I know Pallet Integrity wants to give the Brotherhood a military first outfit, but we could use a thousand grants. Hey, thank you, Chris Jensen, for the tip. Harper's Ferry missing party. Some hunting party has gone missing at Harper's Ferry. I've notified patrols to keep an eye out. Their last known location was north of Valley Galleria. But if they got hounded by hostiles, they could be anywhere, including the trade route. Edward Hayes has posted details on their lookout terminal, so we'll be looking for updates. We already found that party. So I got my own command now. Bet you never thought that would happen, right? With all the new blood sergeants training, I mean, night, senior night, met up with the representative of the responders, I told her our mission to escort trade caravans, keep the freaks from the savage divide away from civilization, and maybe get the dam operational again. She was so grateful, it was almost embarrassing. <laughs> Day one complete, and so far so good. But I miss you. And the hot shower. But mostly you. The old rules.
rules about fraternization, I don't know if they apply in the Brotherhood. Maybe we can just come clean and tell Pallet and Taggarty about us. I know you'd like kids one day, too, and we're not getting any younger. Promise you'll think about it. Love you. <clears throat> so, he was in love with one of his, uh... Freddy's Adventure number three. Biggest secret. It worked. Uncle Otis got his foot in my... Tr in Mer... Mer... Mer in something <laughs> and slipped where I put the oil. He's so mad and yelling at me. He's stuck upside down now. Ha ha ha. I showed him I'm going home. So he wanted to go home. Bobblehead. Thanks for the tick, uh, the tip, Hohenheim Productions. I do appreciate it. More secret stuff. Uncle Otis got my candies and took them. He says my teeth is gonna rot out. No fair, Uncle Otis. Got gross food. He is all mad now and stopped being fun. I want to go home and play with my rattle, my, my rit, my rifle. Bam, bam. I am a good shooter. I got a rat, a rat, but now it's dead and no fun. Uncle Otis sucks. I'm going to get him. I want to go home and he says no. I want candies and he says no. I want to, I want to fart in, in the tube and he says no. I'm going to make traps like Pioneer Scouts said to do in the woods and catch Uncle Otis because I'm the greatest. Now, it looks like we're reading these backwards uh, than they were intended. It looks like we were supposed to have started from the bottom. Oh, and there's one over there, maybe? Ah, that explains the traps, right? And all the toy cars. Man, this whole place makes much more sense with this quest. Okay, so there was something up there that we're gonna have to go back and get. Oh no, is this Otis? Oh, Diary of Otis Pike. More of this diary. Still dumb to write it down. October 15th, 2077. Checked out the water park where the kid will be in a couple of days. Almost got caught too, but dropped some Grafton Steel Mill protest leaf leaflets to throw off people. I see. So that's the commie that we saw on the terminal, that we read about on the terminal. October 17th, 2077. I knew the kid was a brat, but I had no idea. Maybe this wasn't a great plan. October 18th, tw uh, 2077. We're holed up in the dam. I've got the place locked down tighter than a miser's cupboard. Not having much luck with the ransom. It's uh, not like I wanted money. Just shut the plant down and get some safety people in there to make it better. October 20th, 2077. The kid was having fun with our great adventure. Now all he does is whine and draw rude pictures. I'm not sure who is the captive here. Arthur left a note in the ransom site. Said I could keep his kid. Wouldn't shut down the plant. <laughs> oh no! Would let his only son go to save the country from commies. Nice. <laughs> Arthur said he could keep the kid. Oh, wow. This backfired. October 27th, 2077. I swear the kid is plotting to kill me. He keeps bumping me when I'm on the catwalk. He was playing with a bit of rope saying he was practicing his pioneer scout knots, but I'm pretty sure he was making a noose. Oh, is that why he's lying here? Did he drop from up there? Okay, there's one more. Up there with <laughs> this kid. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I still want to find out what happened to him. 
Otis is done. He's dead. Oh, okay. What have we got here? Arthur Wood's lighter. Okay. Grognak and the Ruby Ruins. Ah, that's the game. So the clue was the lighter. Uh, let's see where this... Did it go into miscellaneous? No junk. Yeah. So I can't scrap it yet. It's a quest item. All right, one more clue. And it's all the way at the bottom. Take the fusion cores while I'm here. Hammer says, afternoon, Ox got to head home early from work. They had a bomb threat in the university where I work, so they cut off for the rest of the day. Oh, no. Well, that's not good news. I'm sorry about that. That leads outside. All right, what's our final clue? Freddy's Adventure number one. Freddy's Secrets. Uncle Otis got me a grognak game. He's so cool. We got to we got to get inside the dam. Uncle Otis said he was getting us food. I hope he gets pizza. Pizza is cool. I got some candies from a desk. Ha ha ha. Free candies. I climbed and hid them. They are all mine. Bobby is going to be jealous because Otis lets me do stuff. We farted in the tubes here. And now the stink ones got a prize I won. And, and the stink... And the stinky ones got a prize. I won. Okay, and the stinkiest ones got a prize. I won. I'm the best Freddy the Great. Okay, so he hid candy. And he said he wanted to go home. So he kills Otis. <laughs> as far as we know, he kills Otis by pushing him off the ledge. And uh, then heads home. Well, did he ever make it? I can't believe his own father said, keep the kid, wow. I guess he must have really been a handful, but still, just a kid. All right. Search the Woods Estate. Well, let's go to Clarksburg for that. Although, is it going to be cheaper? No, it's not. Hammer says, it's been ruled just a threat. But, and yeah, that's what I heard a while ago too. Okay, so the bomb threat was just a, a, a threat, not an actual bomb. Okay, well, I hope that's the case. Well, uh, I hope everyone is safe. And I'm glad you're going home so that you can stay safe. You gotta do scotch and smoke rings with the Pip-Boy minigames. Ha, ha, ha. Still digging Wolfenstein. Well, I'm glad you're, you're, you're enjoying Wolfenstein. Don't know if, if I could do the mini games. The mini games are fun, don't get me wrong, but they can only hold your attention for a short period of time, I think. All right, let's eat some cooked sh uh, soft shell meat and getting low on purified water. I'll probably go back to my camp and loot some from my water purifier. Woods Estate. So. This is where Arthur and his son lived. And this is likely where the son returned after getting rid of Uncle Otis. Ugh, what a horrible story. Lucian says, why don't you do autographs? Uh, you know, if, if I ever meet you in person at a convention or something like that, I'm, I, I'd be happy to. 
but uh, I don't do I don't sign things and mail them. No, no, no. I'm really not set up for that. Bag of fertilizer. Don't need it now. Got a gazebo. There's the boom of the house. Well, it's a big ruin. Just, just totally trashed. Let's head through the front door and see what we can piece together here. Lots of scorched. Doubt there are family members. Maybe most likely post-war people, I'm thinking. Bottom floor ruined. Top floor. Terminal. That's what we need. Ooh, money. Is that ransom money? No, but then uh, he said he wasn't going to pay the ransom. Poor, the poor Miss Nanny. I guess we can't go back and tell her what we find out because then she wouldn't be able to give the quest to anyone else. <gasps> What's that? It's a picture of the boy? <laughs> oh, oh, but he looks so nice. Is this the boy that killed Otis and was given his father such a hard time? And there's the device on his wrist. The one we fixed at the Tinkerer's workbench. Well, uh, Hohenheim says, hey, Oxhorn, love the channel and your Fallout 3 lore content. Question, do you plan to do a video on Fox, Vault 87, or Raven Rock in Fallout 3? I do intend to do that video eventually, but I need to go through the primary story first. It's on my list of stuff to do, but I got a long, long list of stuff to do. Ooh, 1450 cow balls. Okay, what is this going to tell us? Property of Arthur Wood. Warning on authorized use is prohibited by law. Personal. Molly. Arthur, my dearest, I am both frightened and excited that we will soon be parents. I'm so glad you've agreed to let Otis work with you at the mill. I know he irritates you, but he's my only brother and I love him. I've done a silly thing and ordered a very expensive thing for the baby. I hope you don't mind. I love you. You're Molly. She must have ordered the tracking system. Camp Tomahawk. Dear Mr. Wood, thank you for giving us the chance to make your son Freddy a pioneer scout. We are thrilled that he will be attending camp with us this summer, as we have healthy activities planned to enrich his experience. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have concerns or questions. Scoutmaster James A. Johnson. So this is where the kid learned how to make traps. <laughs> That's great. And the next one, Nanny Annie. Mr. Wood, thank you for your recent inquiry about upgrades for your Miss Nanny model. I have dispatched a catalog to you in the post with our newest innovations. Please let me know if I can assist you further. Respectfully, Jeff Perry, General Atomics International, Sales Manager. And in the final one, Vault Tech, Project Safe House? Why did they send him an email? Mr. Wood, to answer your questions, yes, there is room for both you and your son. Yes, your war efforts are greatly appreciated. Yes, you can arrange for your son to be delivered to a safe location in the event of war, since you will likely be separated from him. If he is at either location you specified, his home, his school, we will be able to assist. No, his nanny will not be able to join him. Regards, Vault Tech. So if he made it home in time, he's at a vault. But which vault? 
Project Safe House. Okay, company business. Safety data. Mr. Wood, I'm afraid the worker safety numbers this past quarter have increased drastically over the previous quarter. This might look pretty bad if released to the regulatory board. Even with our government preferred status, graft and steel would take a lot of heat. Maybe we can adjust the format of the report. This is another uh, uh, argument for automated workers though. Repair costs are a lot cheaper than lawsuits. What do you think, Stacy? Morale. Mr. Wood, worker morale has been plummeting. I started asking around, and I think Otis Pike is bad-mouthing the company. With your per permission, I will arrange for his activities to be watched more closely. Respectfully, Stacy. Termination. Mr. Wood, I've terminated the problem employee and reported his commie leanings to the authorities as you requested. Under the Wartime Workers Act, he should hang for treason if you want to press this issue. Please advise Stacy. Production. Mr. Wood, our numbers are dropping fast. I think the workers are intentionally damaging automated help. I'm not sure they are going to be the best solution in these turbulent times. Can you investigate whether conscript, uh, conscription is an option while we wait for the delivery? of more automated workers. Regards, Stacy. They were toying with conscription, AKA forcing people to work? Holy cow. Estate controls. Personal. Wait, wait a minute, no. Estate controls, offline. So there's something we're missing. Even though the kids are brat, I really hope nothing bad happens to me. Is there a downstairs? Maybe we can go around. Is there a deck or something? Bratato Chip says Harrison Duck's birthday is today. Okay. Alright, I know I missed something really simple here. Oh! Oh, the desk works! Freddy's hasty note. Daddy, I can't find you and I'm scared. I hear lots of sirens and a man says, I got to go with him to some secret place. Now, he said daddy gave money so I can go to the vault and be safe. Uncle Otis is at the dam. We had a, had fun, we had a fun time except he was mean so I left. Where are you? He made it to the vault. Oh. Which vault? Because, I mean, that's not good. I mean, the fact that he made it to a vault is not good. I mean, unless it was a control vault. If it was a control vault, fine. If it was, if it was Vault 76, fine. But if it was any other vault, no. I mean, maybe Vault 101. Maybe he went to Vault... No, no, that wouldn't have made sense. Maybe he's the ancestor of someone we know from Vault 101. I mean, there are all the other vaults here in West Virginia that we haven't learned anything about yet that it could be. I mean, it could be any of them. Maybe this is foreshadowing. Foreshadowing for a DLC. A future DLC where we're going to learn all about Freddy. 
<laughs> oh dear. Back to the water park. <laughs> Everyone's speculating. Is he Gary? Is he you? I don't think he's Gary because... Uh, for the first Gary, Gary Zero, was an adult when he was admitted to the... Um, to the vault because he, uh, they made clones of it, right? And all the clones were adults. The Gary clones were all adults, not little boys. So. Uh, this will take me right there. Brad says Arthur killed Otis. His corpse is behind the tube by his lighter. Is that what we were supposed to get from this? That Arthur killed his dead wife's beloved brother? I mean, you, may, you raise a great point. Why else would they make a point of leaving Arthur's lighter behind? Freddy certainly didn't have his father's lighter, or doubtfully had his father's lighter. So maybe you're right. Maybe Arthur came back here, or went looking for Freddy, and when he found that Freddy had left, he killed Otis. You! You are returned! And my Freddy? This writing. This is Freddy's. His father. He did not want Freddy with the uncle, but so much love Freddy had for him. Oh, mon petit chou. So terrible for my brave boy. The tracker also. Oh, yes, you found it. Oh, the signal is strong now. I can pull data from the terrible day. This you found at the home? Oh, my poor child. Such fear. The writing says he went to safety before the bombs. This means he could live. Thank you. These things I have found you must take as a reward. Yes, but which vault? <laughs> That's all I want to know now, is which vault did he go to? You were the nanny. You should know what vault the family was supposed to go to. Oh. Perfect storm. Targets burn for 24 damage over three seconds. Wow. What level is that? Level 50. Oh, look at this thing. I don't have any ammunition for it, but it looks great. What does it take? 10 millimeter? Yep. It looks great though. Look at this weapon. Well, one more thing to add to my stash that I'll never use again. Okay. Well, what were we going to do next? We finished uh, a, a daily... We finished dailies, we finished events, we finished another side quest. We've got some lucky strikes to do. We need to finish this side quest, tentative plans. Don't know why we couldn't finish this. We did everything for it. And let's see. We need to open the, the miner's locker at the AMS testing site. Level up. Yeah, I know I need to level up, but I really don't know what I want to spend my perk cards on. And rather than just do something hastily, I'll, um, I'll just wait. I got no rush. 
Uh, Carlos says, Ox, look around the house. It's a note telling you what vault. I don't know. I turned that house upside down and I didn't find any more notes. Maybe I'll check it out again later. Now, there was one thing I wanted to do. Here, let's see what, what time I've got. It's, all right, I've been, streaming, I've been streaming for about three hours now. I'm going to have to do a hard uh, stop at, at four hours so that YouTube can actually process it. So we got time for maybe one more thing before I go into the second half of this broadcast. Let's head. There's one thing I wanted to do. Let's head to the pylon. Because there was something I missed at Pylon V13. But first, let's head back to camp. The garage says not a human. I went all around the garage and it's all boarded up. I don't think we have access to it. In the garage, Ox says insane jokers. I already got the holotape from uh, uh, yet uh, the broadcast a, few, a couple of days ago, so we already got those. We don't need to do that again. Okay. Don't need the mines. Just gonna hold, weigh me down. Perfect storm. I'm gonna store that. It's just too cool to get rid of. I hate the server lag. Come on. I want to make the Mirelurk egg. Nope, it just doesn't want me to make any more Mirelurk eggs. You gonna give me more experience for it? Oh, frustrating. All right, let's drop all our spoiled food. like we don't have any. Oh, we do. We got a little bit. And then... We find water. Brad Ludwig says, Ar uh, Ox Arthur's body is behind the pipe where you found the candy with the lighter. We are led to believe that Arthur found out that Freddy was taken to Vault 63. Okay, well that's, uh, that does make sense, although I don't know why specifically 63. All right, to the pylon. Actually, let's see. <clears throat> What's my damage at? <clears throat> Jay Dowell says, I started streaming this because of you. You're a great inspiration to any new streamer. Thanks for being awesome. Well, thanks for watching, and good luck with your broadcasts. Okay, that's at half-life. Still got a lot there. That's at full life. Uh, that's going to be expensive. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll repair that later. Ryan Scott, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't want to read your comment because I don't want to spoil it for the broadcast. Um, but I do recall that. 
and we're gonna we're gonna see exactly what we missed because I explored the pylon when I was working on the mayor for a day quest for Watoga which was a great quest I enjoyed it a lot but uh you know I really need to turn Watoga upside down I believe I probably missed something anyway when we went to explore the pylon I was in such a hurry to finish the mayor for a day quest that I don't believe I, f I thoroughly explored the area so we're gonna head back there There it is. There's the pylon. Now. I remember reading what I'm supposed to be looking for, but I don't remember what I'm actually... Whoa, big spike. What I'm actually supposed to be looking for. I should probably get the, the cheat sheet up, <laughs> shouldn't I? It's not on the, on the, uh, the strategy guide. But... I remember reading it when somebody gave me a message about it. Okay, here we are at the pylon again. Ooh. Acid. Let's fully explore around the pylon. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Is it a holotape? A note? Check the mailbox. Can head up in a minute. Well, let's climb the pylon. <clears throat> Maybe it's up there. Ion Otter says, after your adventure in the mines and the hidden temple, be skeptical of any shrubbery that could hide a passage. Is that a clue, Ion Otter? <laughs> Is he giving me a clue? Yeah, there's down here where we haven't really explored yet. There's the pylon. Got some green fungus. And then it gets shallow. Rubberies. And now I'm moving away from the pylon back towards the uh I may just have to look it up. Ox, you're looking for a toolbox near the shack. Oh, is that right? Is that it? Toolbox near the shack? Is it hiding in...
Would you consider a video on the Fallout cookbook? Maybe. There are a few really interesting things inside the cookbook. Look at the shrubbery with the white picket fence and a path down the middle. No, I already did that event. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Oh, it's a duffel bag near a body. Okay, everyone is telling me different things. A toolbox, a duffel bag near a body, a white picket fence. Come on. <laughs> I'll keep my eyes open. Skeleton. No duffel bag. Well, let's go up. I mean, it's clearly not around here. Or at least not in a way that I was able to find. Tree stop just north of the pillar. Pillar. North. Tree stop. Toolbox key. Rich Taylor's Testament. Whoever finds this, this is as far as I could make it on foot. There aren't a lot of supplies in the area and I can't walk much further. Drank some, of, some from a stream, but I think it was bad. My family was attacked by one of the research assistants from work. I thought I knew my people, but I guess you never know. She got my son before I managed to put her down. I never wanted to kill anyone and I never wanted to die like this. If you get this note, Tell my wife I loved her. Rich Taylor. I'm trying to put the pieces together. Wow. Oh, did I remember reading that? Is that... Is that the Robco building? Is that the Rob... Allegheny? Hold on a second, let me see if I can find something on this. Okay, so it says I need to go to a river east of Watoga.
Hi, Ox, have you seen the space station? Yeah. We covered it. Uh, I believe in my last broadcast. And there's that big forest. Whoa! Choo-hoo! Man, I really need that that sneak critical. And it's level 80. critical. If I can survive until then. Alright, I was holding the space. I don't know why I didn't get my crit off. Next one should be. Come on. Uh. 
This is such a long reload. I'm just waiting on that crit. Got it! Ho oh, ho! Where you going, buddy? Didn't think I was done with you, did you? Slow reload, yeah, really slow reload. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Got him at least. Now, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I gotta find a river. River, river, river. I see a river. Oh. Five plasma cores? Holy cow. Bloody mess is insane. Okay, I need to go south. Because that's the river. Okay, the red toolbox is by the river. but at the corner at the intersection of the train station. Copper. Say, uh, thanks for the stream, Ox. Makes studying for the exams a little easier, says Henry Rogers. You're welcome, Henry. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I hate these cave crickets. Uh. 
I've hated cave crickets ever since Nuka World. Alright, so we've got some lumber going on here. Look at all these stumps. Head to the road, that'll make it easier to see. What the heck? Out of left! Hey! How, where did you come from? Press Gauss Rifle? Heck yeah! Chimney Crickets! What the? Oh, wow! Well, I, I spent all my stim packs. Oh, no. I've got... Oh, I've got 11 left. <laughs> Suddenly, Deathclaw. Yeah, that's how I feel. I, I was on the middle of a road. It just spawned right on top of me. Oh, all right. Scoped Gauss Rifle. Yes! Oh, it's almost dead. Oh, I know. It's at great condition. Okay, something's going on. Okay, it's level 45, same level as the one I have. It's 200 damage, the same damage that I have. Accuracy is way lower because it's... And the range is lower. But it's suppressed. Uh, Sebast Sebastian says, how do you get the gun that you used to take down the Scorch Beast? It was a random drop in my last stream. Uh, just I found it in a... A, a level zero locked tool case. Yeah, suppressed. Oh, I love it. I'm so, I'm so glad I decided to walk here instead of fast travel. Ox, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to find a toolbox by a river near Watoga. This is a good sign. And the reason is because... It's, a, it's an unmarked quest with some great rewards if I can find all of the pieces. And it's bizarre, too. It's not... Um... It's, it, it's not like it gives you quest markers or anything like that. Kind of got to figure it out. Well, I don't know. I'm just curious about this. What's up here? Okay, let's see. There's Watoga. There's the train tracks. I need to go where the train tracks meet a road by a river, and we're looking for a red toolbox. Cure your disease. Okay. I'm getting really low on disease cure, though. And I got three left.
At least I got my shotgun shells back. Aquamarine says the toolbox is next to a skeleton on a rocky area next to the river, but also by that open air park with the instruments that's just next to Drumlin D Diner. William says, Ox, you need to go follow the monorail until you find a dead body. Okay. Well, I think we're headed in the right spot. There's the rocks. Hey, Ox, how did you get the Gauss rifle? I just got it. It just dropped for me. I had one previously that I found um, at a, uh, a relay tower. Just right, just to the right of that building. Okay. Nola Walker's story. We missed this last time. She finally stopped long enough to maul a mile lurk, but didn't need the damn thing. Not like she did my dogs. She just chewed it up and sped it out just like she did me. <laughs> like, like we're a, a chocolate sampler or something. I got pretty close before she took off again. I swear, she's got no eyes in that great, ugly, cauliflower-looking head of hers. She's staying to the side of Watoga instead of going in. Maybe she doesn't like the taste of tin cans. The Myra Lurk and myself are just following after her wake like a couple of ducklings. I think I'll call him today. <clears throat> Dave doesn't seem to care none about attacking me. Ate up his own nest like a hog in the pantry, though. I mean, I can even touch him, and he doesn't do nothing but stare. I found some more cams, but it's, uh, it's getting hard to keep going. My eyes and ears are bleeding, and I'm hearing and seeing things that aren't there. Hell, I'm not sure that Dave is really here. <laughs> Except when I'm downwind of that stink. Nobody's imagination is capable of that. Common Sense says the final part is in the glass cavern. Yeah, we looted that and I was really confused. Because it basically ended the story for us and I hadn't looted any of these other holotapes. So I'm going to have to do a video where I piece this together. Okay, um, there's the toolbox. How would we know to do this, by the way? <laughs> that's that's the crazy thing about this unmarked quest. How would we know if we found this toolbox where to go get the key? It's just a uh, key to Clara's box. Now, I remember reading a note that mentioned Clara and I know I just. Oh, no, it's Cheryl's Clara Duran's notes. These are the ones from the Allegheny Asylum. Yes! Okay, this is it. This is it. Mark it. We got this at the Nuka-Cola plant. 
We've always agreed that marketing is an evil force in the Nuka Cola world. I can't let them experiment on innocent bystanders, so I've taken the arsenic and the mercury and the strontium 90 and all of the rest of it and gone home to Sutton. Hoping you'll understand Clara. Which means now that we've got Clara's key, we need to go to Sutton. Am I right? Ah, okay. That that's how we piece it together. Okay, Sutton. Sutton. Let's see. Where Where was Sutton? Uh, we, we we went there the other day, didn't we? There's Monaga. Oh, these towns. This map is just so huge. Morgantown. Mama Dolce is where was Sutton? Sutton. White Spring. Sutton. Oh, I'm going to save money if I first fast travel to camp. Whew, man, it took a lot just to find those two boxes and uh, duffel bags. See, this all started because I explored the Nuka-Cola plant, and I read every terminal, I collected every note, I turned the thing upside down, and at the very end, I found a locker that I couldn't unlock. It required a special key. That's what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to, pardon me, we're trying to figure out exactly how to open that locker and find out what's inside. And the weird thing is that it starts at that pylon, completely unrelated. Like, I don't understand the story. I understand this part, the part we're on now. Okay, hold on. So I got to make a decision. I've got... I've got these two these two Gauss rifles. I don't need both, and I need to unlock mods. Do I keep the scoped one, which has better range and way better accuracy? Or do I keep the suppressed one, because it's suppressed? It does, they both do the same damage. I got to keep the suppressed one. Which means I should scrap the old one. They both have scopes, right? So this is my su suppressed one. Wait, no, it's not my suppressed one. That's my scoped. This is my suppressed one. They both have scopes. Different scopes. This scope is apparently better. A long scoped. A long scope. All right, so I'll keep the silenced one because I definitely need it silenced, and let's scrap the scoped one. Goodbye, scoped rifle. You served me well. Swift capacitors. All right, I unlocked something. Let's let's modify. Oh, I need science. What does this do? Improved reload speed and ammo capacity. I need science master rank one. Well, thankfully I can level up. Science master rank one. Science Master Rank 1. You can craft Rank 3 Energy Gun Mods. Plans required. All right, let's finish leveling up another day.
Improve reload speed and armor penetration. That's fine, but this is improved reload speed and ammo capacity. What do I want? Greater armor penetration or greater ammo capacity. This consumes a lot. Six copper, six adhesive. Two nuclear material. Oh, I'm so torn now that I've got the card. Do I even want to switch? I'll, I have to make this decision later. I'm so conflicted. So let's uh, put our card back. Instead, put back. Uh, looks so good. Wait, what was it that I had? Oh, Master Hacker. That's right. Well, I'm confused. I don't know which is best. Everyone is saying penetration. Really? The penetration is better than the ammo capacity? Well, at least I have the card now. I mean, now that I know I'm going to need that card in order to uh, upgrade my Gauss rifle, it's a good thing that I bought it. Okay, purified water. Do I have any soups? Yeah. Let's uh, craft up some food. It only increases by one. Armor penetration is better. It says left versus right. Oh. Okay, that's a great tip. Thank you. So Mirelurk eggs are bugged. Well, now I know. Okay. How are we doing? Did we scrap everything we don't need? All right, let's put my Gauss rifle on that slot now. Whoops. Scrap our junk. Store our junk. And head on out. Okay, I got 20 minutes before I need to do a hard reset. Let's head to Sutton. Uh, if I can find it again. <laughs> uh, where was it? Uh, Sutton, 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 Sutton. There. Restart stream. <clears throat> Not yet. I don't need to. I've, I'm at three hours and 40 minutes. So I'm going to head to Sutton, find this doghouse, see how far I can get before I have to restart the stream. <clears throat> All right. There's the train station. Let's go discover this while we're here. It's always good to have another train station on your map. That way you've got something to fast travel to. To sell and use merchants and... Crafting stations. Yay, got it. All right, now to Sutton proper. Please don't stab other customers while they shop. Doghouse. Doghouse. Keep an eye please. Whoa! And they all spawned at once! What the heck? <laughs> so sick. <laughs> There's gotta be a more elegant way to do that, you know? That's just. 
That's ridiculous. Alright. Shotgun shells. Okay, dog house. dog house. Probably not a dog house behind the church. Or any of these. Man, these are so low level, I don't want to even waste my ammunition on them. Okay, here's a house. Dog house behind the trailer? Nope. Inside the trailer? Nope. Well, let's check behind these then. Got a propane tank. Okay. Hey, doghouse! Doghouse! A buried doghouse. What's this? Hello. Clara's note to mom. Mom, I'm so sorry that my research got you addicted to this swill. I'll get revenge on the bastards and marketing that did this, I swear to you. I love you and I miss you so much, Clara. Nuka Cola Locker Key! Is that Clara? Nuka Cola bottles at her feet. So her mother was part of the research. Her mother was part of the, uh. Well, we read about horrifying research experiments they did at the Nuka Cola plant. Her mother must have been one of the blind testers who then got addicted to Nuka Cola. Her daughter, Clara, worked there. She blames marketing. Well, let's go back to the Nuka Cola plant and see exactly what we find in that locker. Where was it? I'm trying to remember. There it is. The Kanawa, Kanawa Nuka Cola plant. Uh, Nubifiami says, what is your opinion on the Outer Worlds that Obsidian is releasing? I'm soaked, uh, uh, soaked, or, no, what's the word? Stoked to hear the news. I'm excited about the game. The trailer looks amazing, and I look forward to streaming it here on my channel. Nuka Cola, factory tour. Free samples and tastings. Let's find a way. If I remember correctly, the fastest... The factory entrance is on this end, and I believe that's where we find the locker. Oh man, I need to be faster. I got 10 minutes left before I have to do a hard res uh, restart. Uh, Sacrilegium says Kanawa is correct. Is that the correct pronunciation? Okay. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Thank you very much. I, you know, I, I swear, I don't, I don't have something in my mouth, but... 
After streaming for hours of a day, my mouth gets tired and I say things weird. Okay, I believe it was over here, behind one of these testing doors. Uh, flavor profile ops. Which one was it? Hey. Let's get the Nuka Cola Quantum. Nuka marketing memo. We already read that in a previous live stream. Let's see. Maybe it's on this side. <laughs> Here we go. And the locker is here! Ah, oh, finally, what's inside? TNT Dome 3, Dome Key 3! How much time do I got? I got 12 minutes, 12 minutes, is that enough time? Let's try it! Black Mountain's Ordinance. Never knew at the time that this was going to be such an important place when I discovered it in my, um... <clears throat> uh, when I was at the Greenbrier event, that's one of the places I discovered. I briefly f explored it, but of course I didn't have any of the keys at the time, and I, know I had no idea how uh, important the place was going to be for revealing secrets. Now, the problem is... <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. Eleven minutes. Ajax says, "Hey, Ox, gotta go. Get some stuff to do. Got some stuff to do, but uh, love the stream. Good work. Thank you very much. Glad you made it. You do what you gotta do. Okay, so Dome Three. Let's find Dome Three, and it's not gonna mark it for us. So we gotta just sort of find it." If I recall, there was a dome up here. There's a dome. Is that dome three? The domes are buried in the hills. So if we can't find it here, we'll just go deeper. It's dome eight. Which dome is this? There's a dome, but is it the right dome? Ox, I thought you weren't recording. Um, <clears throat> I'm not, but I, I do have ways to get the footage if I need to. So I'd rather do this now, get, get it out of the way, and then collect my footage later. Five. I'm gonna run out of time before I find the right dome. There's a dome. What GPU are you using? Says Evage. Uh, I've got uh, all of my system specs in a uh, part picker list below. Okay, that was the dome we opened in a previous broadcast. Let's just loot some more while we're here. Already got that. I believe we already collected that. Yep. Okay. Now to find the next dome. Where is it? Dome three. I finally caught up with you. Congratulations! Today 
is your lucky day. Thank you. you won the great Appalachian sweepstakes. Wasting my time. This wonderful prize is yours. The great Appalachian sweepstakes is not responsible for paying the required gift tax. Failure Gas so prize certificate? IRS. Enjoy your prize. Congratulations! What's the gas prize certificate? It's near the road, Ox. Okay, I'll check it out. Gas prize certificate. Congratulations, winner of the Great Appalachian Sweepstakes. We are pleased to inform you that you have won the grand prize, a brand new Chrysler Score Vega. Allow between 16 and 52 weeks for prize delivery. Great Appalachian Sweeps at Eggs Incorporated is now responsible for storage and delivery fees for prize over five pounds. By accepting this certificate, winner agrees to pay all storage fees until delivery confirmation is received. Oh my gosh. By road. Okay, they're all saying by road. Fine. Let's head on down to the country road. So that it can take me home. To, um, oh, what is that place? To, oh, I know, to the place I belong. That's right, West Virginia. Okay, closer to the road. Here we are, at the road. I may have to do this. Well, actually, we got seven minutes. We got seven minutes. There's one. But is that the one I already found? the cooking station outside? It is. That's five. Less left side of the road facing 76. Okay. There's 76. Oh, that road. Not that road. I'm so glad you guys are here. I'd be walking around for hours trying to find Dome 3. Six minutes. No! Dome one. Okay, left side of the road facing 76. That's eight. Okay. Vault 76, road. Left side. On your map, right behind the nuclear symbol. That's not. That's not There was a place for Nuka Cola. The T51 Power Armor Nuka Cola paint. Hooray! And we got a Nuka Cola jacket and jeans and all the Nuka Cola we can possibly drink. What's in there? A Nuka Cola cherry. We got a TV and another Nuka Cola outfit. Nuka Cola quantum. Oh, lots of quantum. Now it's a T-51 power armor paint scheme, and I, I don't have any T-51. Oh, so I can't show it to you. They should have they should have had a suit of power armor in here, you know? Uh, with some T-51. Uh, so I could take it for a spin, but oh well. What's that? Steel? Steel. Can't loot the rest.
All right. Now to collect a suit of T-51 power armor so I can paint it and show it off for my lore video. Someday. Someday. So we've opened up two of those domes and we know that there are at least eight. So what other secrets are hidden at the ordinance works? Oh, man, that prize bot is just slowly going up the hill. <laughs> ah, we got it. Yay, everybody. Thank you so much for helping me. Okay, I am going to take a break. It might be a little bit, maybe five minutes, maybe 10 mi minutes, maybe 15 minutes. I want to get some cigars because, uh, you know, it's afternoon now. It's three o'clock. I wanted to smoke a cigar and then... Uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to be going live here in a little bit. I don't know exactly when. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back pretty soon. So if you want to hang out here until I get back, you're more than welcome. If you want to wait on Twitter until I get back, uh, uh, there will be an announcement on there when I stream live next. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the, end the broadcast now, but I'll be back soon. Hang tight, and I'll see you all very soon. Thank you so much for joining me. If you decide to leave, I totally understand. All right, be back soon. Bye-bye.